This is Joseph Drust, and welcome back to another episode of Ask ZBrush. So we had a question sent in asking, how can I reverse the IMM curve zipper brush? So to start off, I just have ZBrush loaded up, and I just have a Dynamesh Sphere project here loaded in. And the question is asking about the IMM curve zipper brush and reversing how it draws out. So as an example of this, I just want to come over to my brush palette here and open this up. And in here, I want to locate the IMM zipper brush. So we have an IMM zipper M and an IMM zipper P. So one is set up to be a metal zipper, and the other one is set up to be a plastic zipper. So I'm going to come across the plastic one here and click, and this is now going to select that brush. You'll see at the top here that my IMM viewer bar is going to open up. So this is a IMM curve brush, and it contains these multiple different parts. So I'm going to come through here and select this open zipper left here. And now with this, I'm gonna come across my model. And as long as my model does not have any subdivisions, if I click and drag, this is now going to generate a zipper on my mesh. So the question is asking about taking what you see here, so the zipper is being applied on the left side, and changing this so that instead of the zipper being on the left side, instead have the zipper be on the right side. So how can I go by doing that with this IMM brush? So the process that you need to use to get this to work is basically I want to take this part, I want to convert this part to a mesh, and then I'm going to mirror that part and then create a new part that I can then append to this brush. So to do this, first I need to make sure I have that part I want to modify selected. Then we go to the tool palette over here. I just want to select the PolyMesh 3D star, so just a blank PolyMesh 3D here. Let me get out of perspective and also turn off my floor. Now, with this object selected, you'll see that it just contains one single subtool. And I want to now scroll down to the geometry area. I want to open up the modify topology area, and I want to locate the mesh from brush button here. Now, this mesh from brush button is going to look at the IMM part I have selected in an IMM brush. It's going to take that part and then replace my current subtool with the geometry that part contains. So if I have this left zipper here selected, and I have my PolyMesh 3D star as my selected subtool, when I click this mesh from brush here, it's going to replace that PolyMesh 3D star, and now I'm going to get the zipper part that that brush contains. So now I have the part that is used in this plastic zipper brush here to generate that zipper on the left side. Now this brush currently is set up to be used as an IMM triparts brush. So if I come over here and activate my polyframes, you're gonna see it contains three different poly groups. And this is going to allow you to have a starting point, an ending point, and then it's going to repeat the middle section as you generate the curve. So this will all be transferred when you use this mesh from brush, so you don't have to do any different setup to the file here. So now that I have my left one here as a new subtool, I just need to mirror it. And this can be done by going to the tool palette again. Then we're going to scroll all the way down to the deformation area. And then in here, we just want to click the mirror button. So it's going to take the zipper on the left side here. And now when I click mirror, it's now going to be on the right side. Now after I've modified this part, I now just need to take this part and then append it as a new part to my IMM zipper plastic brush. So to do this, I just need to come back up to the brush palette up here and open this up. I need to go to the Create area. And in here, there is a button called Create Insert Mesh. Now, since I already have a Insert Mesh brush selected, when I click this button here, it's going to give me an option to create a new brush or append the part I'm trying to add to my current brush. So clicking Create Insert Mesh here, it's going to get a little dialog. And this is asking me if I want to append it to the current brush or create a new brush. I'm going to click Append. It's going to take the zipper that I mirrored, and it's now going to append it to my current brush. You're also going to get a second dialog telling you you can press the M key to see the different parts in this brush. So I'm going to click OK to that. And now you'll see at the top here, I now have this new part appended to that zipper brush. So I have a left zipper, and then now I also have the right zipper. So now if I go back to my polysphere here, and turn off my polyframes, if I now have this part selected and I drag it out, I'm now going to get the zipper on the opposite side. So it's no longer going to be on the left side of a garment, but now will be on the right side. Now you'll notice that the depth of this is a little bit different than the original one, because the original one was modified after it was created. So we want to also tweak that so it sits on the surface of our model here. So to do this, we can look at the original part, see what the depth was set to on that, 
and then modify the appended part so it has the same depth. So I'm going to come up to the top here in my IMM zipper brush. Again, I'm going to select the open zipper left side here. I'm going to go to the brush palette over here. I'm going to open up the depth area. In here, you'll see the depth has an embed set to 8. So I just need to make sure that the new part that I've added also has the embed set to 8. So I'm going to come and select my newly added part and go to the brush palette over here. I'm going to change the embed from 19 to 8 and click Enter. And now I'm going to undo that stroke there and let's draw that zipper out again. And now it is going to the surface and it's matching the other brush. So now I've just taken the original zipper. I have now created a new part using the tool geometry, modify topology, mesh from brush option. I then took that part, mirrored it, and then created a new insert mesh part from that by going to the brush palette and using the create insert mesh button here. I then chose the option to append that to my current brush, and now it is contained in the original zipper brush here. Now, if you want this modified part to always be with this brush, you can now just resave the brush by going to the brush palette and then clicking save as and then you can locate the zipper plastic brush there and then save over top of it. And then the next time you select this brush, it will contain this part that you modify. So if you have any questions related to ZBrush pipelines or processes, please use the hashtag AskZBrush on Twitter. Happy ZBrushing.